and I think that could also be a service. So, you know, while we're, while we're sitting here talking about networking and everything as well, you know, uh, we also talk about, you know, what other services could, could the, the Notel also provide, you know, so beyond, beyond just a room, you know, um, mm -hmm. storage lockers, for example, uh, to, to facilitate trade, you know, um, something like, uh, and, and again, we try to stay away from wireless if we can, but uh, think of it as, uh, you know, I think everybody has seen those big, large box uh, mailboxes that the Postal Service uses, uh, you know, and if you were to equip them with electronic locks, you know, um, and, and it could be, you know, uh, we, as, as as is in uh, hashtag Agora, uh, the, the, this idea of open transactions, this idea of electronic contracts. So, you know, you could, you could literally, you know, go to the, to the box, put your trade item in there, uh, you know, cause you've already established a, a partner trading partner and you kind of want to maximize your security by both of you not being there at the same time, giving the viability to either party. I didn't know what it was, um, you know, so putting it, putting it in there and then, you know, once you've received your payment, then you can tell the box that's, that it can go ahead and unlock when brilliant. the person's there. Yeah. So that's the, the yeah. they, so in, in the second realm book, they talk about, I guess, the double blind trading. Um, you could make this totally, mm -hmm. you could make this totally digital with like a two of three multi-sig with Bitcoin or something. Um, <clears throat> that's crazy. Oh, yeah, just sure. basically just utilize, like utilize what Open Bazaar or BISC would utilize in terms of, um, yeah, peer to peer exchange, yeah, two or three multi-sig. And then, yeah, you've got a physical, um, you know, a physical trade, um, yeah, that's that's incredible. Yeah, I like that. I really like that. Yeah, and then that's what's really great about these electronic contracts too is the fact that you know it requires both parties to one agree, both parties to also confirm that the transaction's been completed. So you know the 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 computer that maybe is down in the basement running the software, um, obviously encrypted partitions, uh, you know, no local access. Uh, you know, um, remote access only by, you know, multi-layered uh, encryption security, all of which is is, is currently possible now. Um, and uh, so so basically that, that becomes that that third party in the transaction, the the uh, as open transaction talks about the notary, you know, saying, okay, uh, yes, okay, you've you've got this item, you're offering it for this amount of money. Uh, both parties have agreed to the, the product, they've agreed to the price. Um, you know, the first person uh, goes there, uh, as soon as they get their payment, they sign, okay, yeah, I got my payment. And then the next part that then the, the person receiving the, the uh, uh, property would then go, yep, I received my property. And, and then the transactions complete. Um, again, it, you know, with with this with this op this open concept, obviously, you want to be careful with who you're trading with, because yeah, there's always going to be a possibility that you're going to get ripped off.